Hello, hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are heading down into this hole in the ground that opened up once we defeated the Abyss Watchers in the last part. And here we are in the new area. I think we finally left the roads of sacrifices. I think it's plural. Is it sacrifices or a single sacrifice? I mean, I made many sacrifices both in... Oh, patience, time, willingness to live. But now we are in the catacombs. Okay, it looks like I can drop down this way if I wanted to. Or I could carry on down here. Ah, skeletons! That one's got glowing eyes. And I didn't get any souls from it either, which leads me to believe that it's going to come back alive. There's some Carthus Rouge. Whatever that means. Hey, the skeleton died. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This skeleton goes invisible when it rolls. But it can also be massively damaged. So if you kill the skeletons twice, it seems like they die permanently, except that one. Oh. Oh, he, he exploded. He spontaneously lost structural integrity. Oh, I think I got souls from that. Okay. So what is the deal here? Oh, ouch. You skeleton bastard. Why are you... Ooh, nearly fell to my death. Okay, let's see what's through here. Now, what's worrying me about these little tracks that I'm walking down right now is that they look like... They look like some sort of large stone could could roll down them. Force! <laughs> yeah, nice. I'm going to use Seek Guidance to see what this does. So now a little symbol has come up next to the many symbols that, that allude to the buffs I have going. So I should be able to see more signs on the ground. I should be able to see... I don't know. Maybe it just puts you in like an embered state when you're not embered. If that makes sense. I love... I just... I love the... Ooh, look at that curved sword. That's cool. I love the fact that... Ah, there's two of them. Ah, whoa! Massive attack. What do I love? I, I love a certain fact, but I can't remember what it was going to be. Well, that was very unnecessary. Oh yeah. I love the fact that the Executioner's Greatsword, when attacking like that, also hits behind you. And I guess that kind of makes sense because it does go over your back. Okay, this is going to be one of those areas that I sort of run around like a headless chicken. What's this? Throwing knives? Like some sort of ninja skeleton. Oh wow, did not mean to do that. But yeah, I mean, there's so many sort of... Kukri. Okay, he's chucking Kukri. It seems like there's so... Oh, hello. Oh, that went a lot... How did that not hit me? I don't understand that. That went a lot faster than I thought it would. It travelled. I mean, it brings up... Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, arrows travelled unbearably slowly in Dark Souls 1, I have to say. What's this going to be then? Carthus Pyromancy Tome. So that's some more pyromancies unlocked. What else did I get? This. Carthus Rouge. Temporarily applies bleeding to a weapon. That's cool. I guess. I don't really need it. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can give this guy the proper treatment that he deserves. Oh, please stop doing that. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. And good riddance. What's this? Somewhere to fall off, maybe? It actually looks like it could be something to fall off. And if I'm no idiot, which I'm definitely not, it's definitely worth doing. Well, call me Mr. Stupid. Mr. Ah, oh, no, it's pretty adventurous. I'm giving myself kudos for that death. I had to try it though, right? Right? Kind of, not really. Yeah, it was pretty dumb. And you know what else? I lost my, I lost my ember, which is pretty stupid. And for the sake of the possibility of NPC invasions, I'm going to use it again. 
I mean, I'm gonna use another one. Not the same one, obviously. I I can't do that. It's gone. It's It's been emitted into the cosmos. Hey, that guy's got the Abyss Watcher helmet on. Where? Why didn't I get the, the armor? Or maybe I can buy that? Or maybe that's how you... That's that's what I have an idea about the guy who... The, the thief who pinches stuff. Oh, no. Okay, that was... How many times? Twice? All right. I was pretty lucky that I didn't get killed by that. Although it does give me plenty of warning. And the fact that I'm wearing headphones goes a really long way to be able to... Hearing the nuanced sounds. Okay, so watch out for switches. This is the way I came. Come on, Gipsy. Follow the right way. This is... That's that's where I've already been. This stairs is a place I didn't already go. You've got to keep an eye out for the... Getting souls. So hang on. So hang on a second. This should be taking us in the direction of Erythil. I think. The lost city of Erythil. I can't remember what told me that. Oh no. Oh no, I was parried. By a man with no head. How dare you, without even looking. What skill. Okay, in the soul of a nameless soldier. Let's just drop down, might as well, and I'll use a heal when I get down here. I'm also going to seek a small amount of guidance. Let's get that back on, even though I probably don't need it. And also, once I see something, I'm not going to know whether it was that that helped or... Or just seeing it, you know, the, whether it would be there. I did come out here a minute ago because I got a bit lost as to where I was meant to be going to reclaim my souls. That is where I'd be dropping down to, so there's probably an item on one of those shelves. But before I go down there, which looks like definite progression, even though I say that a lot and I get it wrong a lot. Two Titanite Shards. Also, I got a large Titanite Shard earlier from one of these enemies. So it means that they are starting to come into play. Well, that was a lot of skeletons. Spouse ahead. Spouse ahead. I don't know what that means. There's more bones. Ooh. Is that Anri? Anri of Astora? Are you going mad? Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Hello. Have you seen my companion, Horace? No, I have not. To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. Ah, look at that guy at the top of the I've been column. I've to find him since. Oh no, snared by a trap. Uh... No? Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself. I wasn't listening to the question. He's probably searching for... If you happen to that I will and will lay prism stone, please send him my word. May the flames guide you. Oh no, why am I skipping through it now? Now that I'm, I'm panicked. So I guess she's going to ask me if again. If you happen to that I will, please may the flames guide you. No, what did I... What was that option with no? What have I done? Was well, so I was supposed to find Horace before I talk to Andre? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Well, that's convoluted. Twinkly, twinkly Titanite. How was I supposed to know that? I didn't have any other option. Ow, please stop doing that. I've got so many arrows in me now. She doesn't look like she's having a very good time of it by the fact that she's holding her head. I was distracted by the, the half a skeleton just grinning out from the top of that column. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, I might run back over there and drop down because I guarantee you there's a reason for doing that. Unless it's just a shortcut to that door down there, I'm going to try it. Before going down these stairs. Oh, let's go down the stairs first. Okay, I thought there might be something. There's a big boulder behind me, isn't there? Yep! Oh! What? It carried on through the door! Ooh! Okay, giant boulder. Indiana Jones style, except it is made out of... Obviously, it's made out of a, lots of bones as opposed to rock. Whoop! Out of the way of that! <laughs> hey, it exploded! What? And dropped an undead bone shard. And there's a bonfire right there. Okay. 
So how will that come back, that giant ball? I am going to do that. I am going to do what I said I'm going to do, which is go back to the Droppy Downy platforms and see if there's something up down there. Or up there, however you want to say it. Scimitar? Okay then, I'll take that, you stupid dead skeleton. So we are back at the very beginning of the catacombs, and I am going to just very carefully fall down each level, checking to see if there's anything... I guess it's just to kill the archers, maybe, but, you know, there's not that much point to doing that. Unless this is an invisible wall. No, it is not. Okay, and one more here. Oh, there could be something in here, I guess. What happened to the skeleton archer? Did he just... He just gave up. He saw me coming down, and he thought, not worth the angst. All right, let's have a heal. Give me a heal. I keep forgetting as well that the Executioner's Greatsword restores FP with every kill. It's so good. It's so good. I thought I heard something... Oh, wait, these ones are coming back. Okay. Or just that one? Oh, no. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Okay, maybe we're going to get one off him. Alluring Skull, that's definitely not what he was using. Oh, here we go again. Oh, pots of bones! What are you keeping these for, guys? Ow. Ow. That's not a lot of damage, but it is considerable. So hopefully if I kill enough skeletons, then my FP will just fully come back. Or if I just roll through enough bone-filled pots. So why aren't those these bones are reanimating? If there's a crystal lizard in here, I'm going to be annoyed. Only if I miss it, actually. Oh, okay. Some of them have... What? What? What was that? Did I step on a switch? Oh, I stepped on a switch. I thought maybe... Carthus Milk Ring. Hopefully you can squeeze milk out of this ring. Slightly boosts dexterity and obscures rolling. I know what this does. This does what the skeleton was doing. Invisible rolls. Oh, no. Okay. Well, semi-invisible rolls. All right. I'm not going to use it. Uh, because I'm not dex based. Any more annoying switches? Oh, so some of the pots do have those in them. The ones without bones in have weird purple spirit things. Like this one. Ow, that hit me immediately. I thought I'd be able to dodge it. But there we go. Okay, so that's all that was in there. The Carthus Milk Ring. Weird name for a ring, if you ask me. Whoop. Double arrow, okay. Indiana Jones style, like I said before. Ow, no! A good one! He's got the ninja skills! Backstab, backstab, backstab! What happened then? Oh, I forget that I can just hit them over. Oh no. Oh no, the ninja one's coming back to life. Okay, that's, that's that done. 320 echoes. That is going down somewhere, which I can only assume I am going to end up anyway. Much better to stay on top before dropping down. I would rather not fight these guys at the same time. That sounds like a trap. Nice, using that to my advantage without really meaning to. See if I can do that again. Nope. Not this time. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Are these parry repostable? Is it worth even trying? Not when I can just hit them once and... Oh, okay. Well, I'll get the backstab again by accident. I've been doing that a lot recently. Not that I'm complaining. The accidental backstab is more than welcome. Tight, tight shot. I'm going to avoid that switch delicately. Let's use another... Oh, I can't. All right, then. Oh, lames. Totally lames. Oh, no. We've got... Oh, no. The wheels are back. The bone wheels. How do I get out? Oh, hello. Oh, and slimes. And slimes. Okay. Okay. At least we have the columns. It's not a killing one. That's a shame. What? What am I hitting? Oh, a slime. Okay.
Okay, there's more. Oh, slimes. Why slimes? They're the exact same as the Cathedral of the Deep ones, except they... Hey, Bone Wheel Shield! Cool! I believe that's got a, a weird special... That's got a weird skill. Let's have a look. So, these ones are all parry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill, Wheel of Fate. Thrust out the wheel and give it a good spin. <laughs> give it a good spin! Shredding enemies with the outer lining of spikes. Okay. So, after that fiasco, Carthus... Oh, you slimy bastard! This could be death! I believe if you spam buttons, you get out of holes quicker, but I'm not sure if that's true in this game. It definitely is in other ones. Okay, let's have a safety. A safety, Estus. There is n no shame in being cautious down here. Does strong attacks do that much more damage? Not really. Ouch. Was it undeserved? Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. I'm going to keep an eye on these two, just in case they drop anything when I leave. Let's have a heal. And now, let's go and find some other slimes. If there are other slimes here, I'm not going to kill them, because it is, it is a waste of time. I don't even know... I wasn't looking at how many souls you get, but... Oh, rats. Okay. Okay, I guess, you know, if I had to guess what enemy would be down here, it probably would be rats. What is this? Is this the depths? It's like slimes dropping left, right, and center. Oh, it's another big rat. I should get that ring from the transposing kiln guy that gets health back on hit or on death of enemy. I can't remember what it was, but it was bloody useful. I'll tell you that. But you don't do telling. Okay, there looks. there's someone standing up at the far end. I'm not sure what he's about. I'm going to head... Oh, oh! Is there any escape? There must be. Are they all alive in that ball? And is it coming back up? Yes, it is! That was so stupid. I had to see where it was going. Coming back. Whee! Hey, there's a bunch of those hilarious skeletons in columns. Okay, now it should break. Fuck's sake! What am I doing? Okay, maybe you have to get it to try and roll into you and then get out of the way at the last second. No. It's just going to continue to do that forever now. Okay. All right. What is that? What is that thing standing up at the end? I don't like it. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's a ninja skeleton with a, some sort of curved blade. Whoops. That's a rat. Oh, look, the rats and the skeletons living in, in perfect harmony. That's nice to see. A large Tyanite shard. Oh, I love that. I love seeing that. I've probably got enough now to level up my Executioner's Greatsword again. Oops. Come back, please. None of the Crystal Lizards have been particularly hard to get. Fire Gem. Where are we now? This looks less catacombsy than the previous catacombsy place I was in. Are you going off? Now you are! Ha <laughs> ha! Ninja. Ooh, do not want to go down there. Okay, that's... What did this say? Suspended bridge is wearing thin. That probably means don't go across the bridge. It's going to fall. Because that's not even a player left message. That is a developer message. And I was on the... Oh, no, no. I wasn't on the other side of this grate. The grate that I found earlier had a had a bonfire on the other side of it. Large name of a soulless soul or something along those lines. Let's see what this is. More black bug pellets. So this is going to be the way around the bridge, I imagine. Yes, it is. Hey, it's Amri again. Visions of friend. Down there. Oh, whoa. 
Is that Horace? Is that Horace down at the bottom? I can't see. We've never seen Horace with his weapon out before. I think that is Horace. So should should I try and find Horace before I speak to Anri of Astora? That is the question. Hmm. Difficult to know. Difficult to know. And I guess I'm going to do that because I'm not... I'm running away. What's this bridge going to do then? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's no choice! Quick, go for it! Duh! Chop it down! Chop it down! Oh no! It's a skeleton frenzy! The bridge is gone! The bridge is gone! And we've ended up at this ominous looking door that could quite possibly lead to a boss. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, descend, just like in the, just like in the uh, DLC. Okay, so there's a way, must be a way down. Or is this, oh, it's him again. It's one of those again. Except Siegmeier's not here this time. All right, Mr. Angry. Okay, is this a... This is a Mimic. Oh, there's stairs. Okay, there's steps. So I can come back to the Mimic. All right, chill. Oh, who are you fighting? Is that a skeleton? Where, where did the skeleton come from? Boosh. I'll let you fight the skeleton for a minute. I feel like the skeleton's coming for me, but oh well. Let's have two of those. Yeah, here he is. Take it his time. Alright, time to face. Where where the hell are you going? What was down there? So many mysteries. Force? That's some sort of force-like move. This guy is quite... He's, like, he's a lot like Taurus Demon. He's even got a giant axe. Okay, there's the buff up. He's buffed up. That's a sort of lunging attack. Ouch. Okay, hit for a hit. Take that. Oh no, this is AoE. Okay, I realised that way too late. But that was going to be AoE. And there's 17 and a half thousand cells. Quite far throw the catacombs for me to collect. Lovely. So although I probably should have found a bonfire by now within the catacombs, I mean I saw one but it was behind some metal bars, this is what this drop down thing is for. To skip that whole beginning area of the catacombs and to get us down here with a relative speed of quickness. Now that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. We are going to ember. Although, actually, yeah, well, we've done it now. Too late. I should have just done it when we caught up with where I'd got to. I imagine that the big ball of bodies is going to come back. Yes, it is. Except, it's probably not going to drop another undead bone shard. What am I doing? Oh, I thought I had my shield out. Well, crescent move number one. Let's have an Estus for that. And I'm going to wait to see what it drops as well. Well, he dropped the falchion. The falchion. That's cool. Come on, come on you. Where's, what, where's he going? What, what's your, what's your deal? He, he wasn't there last time, was he? Ooh, Carthus Curved Sword. That might be one of the big ones. I can't use it. Okay, it's not one of the big ones, but it does look incredible. And I also knew, rec I also recently noticed that the uh, Executioner's Greatsword has these pretty sick little engravings in it that I, you know, don't make sense to me, but to someone trained in the art of linguistics, just might. 
Ah, okay, so this is where this is where I fell down last time, and I did I neglected to get this item due to me having full down fallen down. So I can now get that ember. What I don't know what the noise is. Oh, this is where I was coming up before when I was playing with the big ball. No, don't get any ideas. Don't be crude minded. Okay. Ah, and this is a bonfire. Okay, cool. Alright, this is a great find because I have run out of time for this part. So, on that note, I am going to leave it here. And next time we shall be cracking on with the catacombs and trying to find my lost souls. And also Horace, who seems to be stuck at the bottom of a giant crevice. Crevice? Crevice. Hole. A big hole. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'll see you then. I've been Ocey Gibbs. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!